Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Illithid Inn. Now, oh my god. Did we have both the stove and the machining table go out? I don't know if there are any components on the map. This could be a problem. Oh boy! In any case, uh... I was gonna, th I was gonna say, things have been going a little bit. Hey, there we go. Things have been going a little bit better, and that should be enough components to fix us. We only need two. I mean, it's it's not a whole lot. Oh, nothing better than looking out across your absolutely massive opium field with the corpses of dead samurais who attempted to take your land from you. Fertilizing the soil. And seeing your chickens. Happily laying eggs. Out in the back. It's another fine day to let it in. The guests are happy. The other guests are happy. See, these guys appreciate horseshoes in a way that most of you do not. I shouldn't say that. They're all pretty pleased. Eh, we're getting some stuff from the archaeology department. Uh, sculpting is going fine. He's making stuff out of hempcrete. I'm, can I just say, I, I do not approve of this. I do not approve of 239 barrels of black powder just casually sitting in our main room, okay? Right next to the weed that everybody smokes. That's gonna be a problem one day or another. Uh, Roscoe is death resting. And speaking of Roscoe, see settlements. I said settlements. And open, activate research. Uh, request mercenary. 1.8 days. So we will get that today. We'll get another colonist. And if it's any good, we'll send them out to found an outpost. If not, well. I guess they can just sit here. Because those outposts are actually fairly good. Aside from the regular uh, settlements, the outposts are pretty okay. Now, colonies. We don't... Ha we'd have to upgrade this to get anything new. And it's 2,000 to found a new settlement. And I really did just dump a lot of money into that first one for, like, no return on investment. Safe to say, mistakes have been made. However, mistakes need not always been be made. So. I forget. W weren't there a bunch of cobra eggs? out here what was that my my pr personal playthrough oh god fucking damn it oh, okay they have an effective force of five and the attacking power is four we should be good so we got synthread white lion pelt Steel Elven Shield, and Warborn's Boots. Okay, let me... Ooh. Alex, my guy. Those would look rather fetching on you, I believe. Also, can he wear the Lion Pelt? Oh, now it takes off his... His cloak. Yeah, go wear that. Also, take this Elven Shield. No... He needs his illithid staff. God damn it. Can't just throw in a lion skin over your shoulders. Well, you know who maybe can? He cannot. Can you? You can't either. Hmm. Outro? Oh, it takes off his flak jacket. Fine, fine. Outro can have it. I have to salt the lion pelt. 
I've reached a point where it just doesn't even matter to me anymore. Oh. Hoping for a, a speedy return on investment with all of these. How much opium do we even have? And what might that be? Complex looting. It's fairly close. No, you know, we can't even... We can't even really do this. Uh, I was gonna say, if we build roads between settlements, like we should be doing, there might be a chance that we could get there faster. However, I don't even know that I really care to go and check it out. There could be loot, yeah, but... What we need is money. We don't even have anyone skilled enough to do half the surgeries to install all those fancy bionics. But thank you, Hidden Blade. Nobody needs to see that. Alright, let's set our research project, yeah. So... Oh, a huacha, that, that, those things are fucking cool. It's like a rocket launcher, but it shoots a ton of arrows. Hmm. What to do today? We're gonna need the high-tech research bench eventually. Probably sooner, rather than later. If we research a scorpion, do you think we could, get, we could get scorpion to use it? I don't know about that. He's incapable of violence. But could he man a turret? Because it's not technically him doing the violence. Oh, electronics. Try biofuel refining. If we can get some chem fuel, power will be a much, much easier scenario. We have these two illithid tadpoles. I don't know what I want to do with them. Because the moment somebody becomes an illithid, they're just incapable. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'll give you some privacy. If they become an illithid, they just refuse to work. However, I would like a ruling council of Illithids. Sort of running the Empire. They really do like the dining room, though. They always eat at the cash register. 47, 40, 104. It's like 187 opium. We're going to be responsible for, like, a drug outbreak on the rim. In the spirit of that. Harvest. Harvest, and we will soon have a product that they will buy even if they don't want it. That is how addiction works. And I am no more evil than... Plenty of real-life companies, actually. It's a shockingly common business practice. Hmm. We need a steam hull. We don't have 15 components, though. We are just kind of strapped for resources. It's... It's kind of a shame. No, I dare say it is quite the shame. This is Illithid in, goddammit, not Illithid Poverty Den. Oh, goddammit. Why is it I can never win a defense? We had one more military power than them. Great. Oh, freaking great.
Oh, you know what? You know a good reason to research microelectronics, though? That orbital trade beacon. Those guys have a lot more money. Okay, you will make smoke leaf hash first. We've got literal diamonds sitting here. Somebody please come and buy our wares. It's been difficult because I recently... I got a new idea for a series. And I am, I am so pumped to start doing that. But I've got to finish this one first. We'll give Illithid in its due, don't worry. One opium for every day of the year. However, keep your eyes peeled. There's going to be a new one. I think you're going to really like it. Just go ahead right now in the comments. Guess what you think it's going to be. And I may or may not steal those ideas later if I like them. I will credit you, though. If you actually accurately do guess it, when the new series comes out, I will, uh, I will show your comment and be like, well, shout outs to so-and-so who actually guessed this ahead of time. However, I'm not too worried about that. He's just making, like, eggs and corn. Action available. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I swear, every time we get some kind of thing we can do, I think, oh, this is gonna save me. Quit giving me scorpions! <laughs> hmm. Good at social and intellectual. Well, I suppose it could be worse. Here, buddy. We'll set you up a workstation right in here next to the unstable fuel cell, so if it blows up, you'll be the first one to burn and die horribly, and, you know, it's dawned on me. Let's make an emergency exit. Hey, a party! That's rather nice, actually. You know, you guys, you have your party. Celebrate that you made it this far in relative prosperity. And we'll pray for a trade caravan. And our prayers will be answered. Because Fran will guarantee one arrives. A jubilee of trade? Hmm... I think that's just a regular party. Oh, thank you, Joshua. I always appreciate a cleaner. Someone who keeps the base clean. This is the thing. The more the base starts to look like an, a fucking zoo, the more people start to act like it is. Hey, hey, hey. None of that, mister. None of that. You go claim that bed. I'm not going to let my new cleaner, who's gone above and beyond, uh, Tem and Tonagawa. Huh. Wouldn't have guessed. Let's make a couple parkas, yeah? Parka, 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 parka. There we go. And Tonagawa, you can just keep that, honestly. We have so much opium. We've got opium out the goddamn wazoo. And not a single trade caravan will come by of their own volition, for God knows why. Mm. Random event. Oh, great. Food is worth less now. Holy shit. Oh, 
Okay, now we're just barely back. We're back to just barely breaking even again. Oh my god, my how the turntables. We've got Smelly and Joshua on research, so. We should be getting through this relatively quickly. Out into the chem fuel age. I'm sorry, since when are we since when are we out of food? That is shocking. Alright. You know what? Actually we'll just we'll just turn this quarry off and get everybody harvesting. That's probably what's going on. It's fine, you can eat raw corn like heathens if that's what you guys want to do. No doubt Alex would be more than happy to make some lavish meals for you guys, but... Hey, you know, I'm not here to tell you how to live your lives. Actually, it's a colony management game, I literally am. On the bright side, Tem has reached level 10 in plants. Who needs medical treatment? Alex, why? Revenants, a bizarre condition inflicted by equipping a grave heart ring. The blood and mind are slowed, but the body has become resistant to death and requires little food or sleep. The condition causes fuller death. Further dulling of the mind if not treated and will only depart in a quadrant or two, regardless of treatment. This is troubling. Why is he why does he have one of those equipped? Take that off, buddy. Bran, go tend to your husband. No, no, let Bran be the one to do it. His one-legged human wife. Man... You know, maybe those mind flayers who told uh, Alex, why do you want to go to the human world? What, to chase some dreams of being an aristocrat? Or go marry a human woman? You'll be poor living in a modest inn. <clears throat> Attracting little in the way of customers or wealth. You'll never truly be an aristocrat. Maybe they were onto something. That'd be a little depressing. Regardless of what they said, he owns two settlements. I'm sure that's more than most of them can say. Let's see. Uh, the rest of the opium is probably done. And he grows a fuckload of opium. Owner of a literal drug empire. Not that he has much to show for it, but I mean, that's got to count for something, right? Oh, we are already out of meals. Alex, don't meditate. Cook. Oh, you know what? He would be a lot smarter... If we were cooking four at a time. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be that'd be a pretty clever move, you know? What well, we only have uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve colonists, yeah, I think we'd go through a few meals in a day.
my god. Well, at least we always have plenty of corn. Hey, a bolt good trader. Awesome. Oh, Lucretia is at a minor break risk. Lucretia, Lucretia, I don't know how you say it. Yes, you, the legendary character. I mean, how, how could we forget, or remember for that matter, Lucretia? Here, um. He wants you to take all this moon sugar and all of this psych IT. And all of that. And I think I just want the money. Yeah, just the money. Roscoe, all the silver. Look, I don't care if you were sleeping. You had four days to death rest, all right? You shouldn't be tired. How is corn a dangerous food type? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I went on a little bit of a Google search rabbit hole. Dangers of eating raw corn. And uh, we have Google's wonderful generative AI result here. Raw, ma raw maize kernels contain linamarin, which can convert to hydrogen cyanide in the gut if consumed in large amounts. Hydrogen cyanide is toxic and can cause headaches, dizziness, vomiting, and even death in extreme cases. So that's referring to raw maize kernels. Which, uh, to my knowledge, is different than corn. And it is sourced from uh, Quora. Uh, well known for its accurate and truthful information that is not random people on the internet answering questions and just being wrong. I have only ever one time used Quora, and that was to ask if there was anywhere in the 40k rules that explicitly said I couldn't field more than one warlord because I wanted to make an army consisting of four, like three Kairos Fate Weavers and about five Blue Horrors. I couldn't find a quote anywhere that said that was illegal to do. Zinch, enemies, watch out. I'm coming for you. However, the rest of the results here. Raw corn is also difficult for the human body to, to digest. Corn is made up of cellulose, and the human body does not have the right enzymes to break it down. This can sometimes lead to gas and bloating. Experts recommend only consuming raw corn once per week to avoid any potential constipation, gas, bloating, and stomach cramps. Here are some potential dangers of eating raw corn. Pellagra. Corn naturally contains a form of niacin that cannot be used by the human body unless the corn is treated with lime. Eating raw cornmeal would not be treated with anything, so niacin deficiency would result. Intestinal blockage. Eating too much or too big a piece of the cob could cause intestinal blockage. However, raw corn is safe to eat unless you have an allergy to corn. It might pass through you with vigor, especially if you don't chew thoroughly before swallowing it, but it won't hurt you. I, I am, I'm just not entirely sure what they're trying to tell me here. Pass through me with vigor. I don't know what you mean by that, bud. You mean, uh... You mean, <laughs> you mean to tell me I'm gonna have the shits? I, I don't know. And, and why are you assuming I'm I'm going to eat the cob? I have no idea where they're, where they're sourcing that portion of the information. Okay. And down here from the website I have never heard of, Southern Living, eating raw corn is safe and nutritious, confirms Chef Francine Mars, Dean of Culinary and Hospitality at Culinary Institute of the South at Technical College of the Low County in South Carolina. Yes, you can eat raw corn, says Mars. It's actually quite good for you. So I don't know what the hell Roscoe is on about. 
or uh what's it artro yeah i don't know what artro is on about maybe he ate too <laughs> he ate too much of the cob and it's passing through him with vigor god only knows let's see a hunting work site uh well i'll tell you what's not good for you opium and we've got a lot of that to harvest neither is skooma but we're selling that anyway Okay, we've got eight meals, 12 meals. Alex, you need less sleep, right? Yeah, you'll be fine, buddy. You will be absolutely fine. Just cook the corn. Because we don't want it to pass through us with vigor. I don't know, I know, I, I do... I am vaguely aware that corn and maize, while basically the same thing, are a different plant. Continue production. Smoke leaf D energy drink. Is our faction just entirely demons? That would kind of make sense on account of we're like we're like selling drugs and consorting with vampires and just generally not the best of people. Ah, oh, the drugs have arrived. Hypomorphone. Hey, tell the producers of that. We've got a ton of opium here. You can refine that into all kinds of painkillers. Oh. Now, if only we had more trade caravans. I just need to reach the point where I can get mercantile. Mercantile will ensure trade caravan comes every three to five days. Oh! That's a lot of visitors. So let's see. You're a baselander, you're a baselander. You're a Curran, but they don't have a xenotype, so... It's weird. Humanoid alien races doesn't play too well with biotech, but I mean... I gotta have my fox people, you know? How much opium do we have? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. 735. And most of it is not harvested. Well, most of it is harvested, but I mean... There's still a ton more. Tom from God of the Dead is looking down upon what's going on here, and he is pleased. And probably, like, high off his ass. From his opium farm in the underworld. That's what it always comes back to. It's necromancy and opium farming. Guess has nothing to eat. Well, oh, god damn it. Map settings. Guess can take food for free because I am a generous lad. Alex, keep cooking. We're eating faster than you can cook. You know what? I'm actually going to... Just for now... We want simple meals. Revenance is dulled. Is there a global work speed effect? His consciousness is uh, decreased slightly, and so is his manipulation. Can you guys just, like, eat some of the massive amounts of hash and opium we've got laying around? Jesus Christ, man. We're like an old tiny opium den. Most people won't just buy it, though. You can sell it to the trade caravans, but they won't buy it off the shelf. Don't take my corn. God damn it, we're starving. <laughs> Too bad we can't eat smoke leaves. Okay, we got 20 meals. That should 
get us through a day. However, wait, Cockerel Five. Oh, you're a male. Actually, no, we can, uh, we can take two of you. We'll leave one male and three females. And then wildlife. There aren't any cobras on this map, right? I would really hope there aren't. Oh, that is incredibly kind of you, sir. You unclog the toilet without even needing to be asked. Uh, who can hunt? Lucretia, you are typically tasked with doing that. And you are on it. Uh, I would encourage you to hunt something bigger first, but, you know. That's just me. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Roscoe. Oh yeah, genetic depression. That's right. Ah, I ain't gonna judge, man. Um, Alex is playing Nepple Papple with himself because he is well adjusted. How much money are you requesting? Seven hundred silver. No, we don't care. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of you. Look, I'm sorry. You've fallen upon hard times. I get it. We don't care. We just don't. That's like if I'm poor and I go up to, like, a Holiday Inn and ask them for money. You know? Like, hey, man, do you know how things work around here? Hey, 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 hey. Who invited you inside? You, you can sleep in the chicken coop if you want. Oh, my God, man. No, 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 don't buy all of my meals, please. Alex, please. Please, we need to cook. And not in the usual sense. Well, I suppose for you, yes, in the usual sense. We need to cook. Like, we need to make food. Taxes build. Oh, cool. A hundred silver. Joyous. Military is no longer on cooldown. Stop taking my corn! <laughs> we need to eat that. You guys are going to starve too if we run out of food. Go buy the opium or something. I've got a ton of that. Yay, 161 silver. No, 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 don't make the sculpture. Your job is to cook now. Any luck, um, hunting Lucretia? Let's see, uh, Joshua, you would be good at it. Uh, Tonegawa and Vaughn and Tam. Well, fortunately for you guys... Wait, wait, wait. Let's go equip that. I don't know why you have an elven shield to begin with. Take the gun. Take the uh, longbow. Take the longbow. Yes, excellent. Go out and hunt the wildlife. 
Oh, that's right. Vaughn is a Frankenstein. You can incorporate genes into people. Or from people and into yourself. I don't know why that looks like Handsome Squidward, but, you know. Keep cooking, Alex. Cooking is your passion, and now it is the means by which you save your people from death. Okay, we should be okay as far as food goes. I say with eight meals. We do not currently have enough to feed everybody. You know, we are really just probably going to have to send a lot of you off to an outpost. I'm thinking Vaughn, Joshua... No, I don't know. Look, we may be starving to death, but at least we have a thousand opium. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cook. Butcher. We need food. My guy. My guy, you can play horseshoes later. It's kind of a nice little compact freezer. Kind of. Vaguely. Can I reinstall you? I would like to move. Oh, but that's kind of like... can't rotate you either. That's kind of a, a pain. And eh, we'll leave it alone. Because I was gonna I wanted to put a kitchen sink down there and kind of give it some some extra oomph. But I barely, if ever, notice the effect of those. Okay, we can put that... No, but it wouldn't be linked to a building. It needs to be, like, here. Yeah, so... Let's reinstall this over here. And we'll put a kitchen sink down right here. A little smidge of plain leather. Alex. Oh, we don't have 20 food. But we will. We need to keep cooking, Alex. <laughs> the guests are going to be hungry tomorrow. Man, Alex was this guy who went out with dreams of being like a rich and wealthy aristocrat. And he's just like a line cook. <laughs> a line cook and a drug dealer. Uh, friend, can you call another trade caravan soon? Not all that soon. He's got to stay up all night cooking so he can get a jump on tomorrow. And he won't be behind. Mm. 
cheap little cold one night cape, night cloak, and a thrumbo fur combat helmet. Ooh. Well, you know what? At least we've got the stool. Our own people don't care for us. The sewage is overflowing. You know what we're gonna do? Wait, do we even have steel? I don't think we do. Oh no, we do. Awesome. We're just gonna put here and here and bada boop. And bada boop. Problem solved. We won't have to deal with that until it starts seeping into the groundwater. By which point we will have all hopefully died of old age. Oh, it's nice passing off your problems to the next generation. Wait, Alex has got to be like somewhat immortal, right? Or at least very long lived. Oh, fuck, I may have made a mistake. Oh well. When Illithidid and starts getting bad Yelp reviews, we'll start blaming Yelp and cancel culture, even though we've literally dumped sewage into the ground. Like, we're not being very discreet about it either. You can, you can kind of see it, uh, like, from the chicken coop. Which is also our water treatment facility. Starting to think I realize why uh, people don't come here too often. No, well, that's set up. Oh, wait. This could be advantageous to us. We don't have components. We do. No one even... No one just bothered to take them home, though. Just left those valuable and rare electronic components to rot out in the woods. I'm starting to think we're con artists. We're con artists and criminals. Excuse me, what is going on over here? Wait, adorable flump. Take care of his pet flump, Tony. Hmm. These are not supposed to be here. The mechanoids are not supposed to be here. And no, I'm not going I'm not gonna take the mechanoid quest. What you wanna interrupt my few guests I already have? All of this farmland, and 90% of it is drugs. We're, we're just a drug farm. Like a drug farm you can stay at if you wish. All for the low, low price of 10 silver a night. 10 silver, period. You should be able to charge them like a nightly fee. Hmm. 
How much longer are you going to be staying here? Two days, okay. Alright, uh... Their bedroom could seem to be a little bit nicer. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yesterday we figured out... Half the statues are like a scorpion naked. These... What, what's on this one? Octavia brutally harming a cougar with a repeating crossbow. These people are disturbed. What are, what are their problems? Are they stupid? I don't know. Alright, but you know what we can do? Make chem fuel from fecal sludge. Oh, what hurts? Now, we can drain these into barrels. The rest of the bathrooms will just get dumped out into here. And we can turn that into some sweet, sweet chem fuel. Ah, brilliant, Retro, brilliant. Uh, we're running out of food again. We have one meal for everybody. Alex... Get your butt back in the kitchen. Oh my god. How much do you freaks eat? You know what? Much as it pains me to do this, we're going to have to grow something that isn't drugs. We need a gigantic field of rice. That should do us. Grow in like three days with the uh the tilled soil. Fran, how's the trade caravan coming? Uh, that should be we could we should be able to do that today. Oh bless Scorpion's heart, he's trying. So is Joshua, but maybe he shouldn't be. Oh, Vaughn is as well. Could you guys not move in a more orderly fashion? Like, I get you have it laid out, but wouldn't it be nicer if you all just kind of started, like, like the four of you on the end, moved inwards? Look, I'm not here to... I am here to tell you how to do your job. That's an anima tree. Well, look, just stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours, okay? You weird nature thing. I still haven't recovered from the Mechanicus series. Whatever happened to the tree in that series? Because I feel like 90% it would have been burned out. Wood. I feel like I've made so many tree puns. Or like wood puns. Through the course of this RimWorld adventure. Not even just this one. I, d I don't think this is the first series in which I have done this. Lord help me, I am finally losing it. Find me my old age making tree puns and complaining about steel and components. Ugh. Telling Alex to get his butt back in the kitchen. I'm gonna be like, a, he doesn't know anybody named Alex, and somebody who knows about my RimWorld series is gonna be like, uh, about that. No, he does. He knows an Alex, he's just not a real person. 
He's a mind flayer, and a drug dealer, and a cook with dreams of being rich. He used to own a hotel. It was an okay hotel. Oh, parka's done. Uh, Tem? Go get your parka. Go get your parka, pal. That's an apron. Oh man, Alex should have had that. I, I have given up on calling him Alexander. He'll get the fancy name when he proves he deserves it. Smelly is game to, can gain a specialty. Is it in smelling bad? No, it isn't researching. Oh my. Whatever will I do with all of you, my little weirdos? Probably send you all out to outposts and leave Alex here to think about what he's done. Oh boy, now we're actually going to starve. It's time to go hunting again. Okay, I'm actually just going to have to send some people off the map. Let's get Vaughn, Smelly, Joshua. Yeah, Vaughn, Smelly, and Joshua, and we'll get them to found a hunting outpost. Hey, there we go. Or we could. There's a bunch of pemmican at all at all these, but it's it's pemmican. Okay, so what we're gonna do This will take you out here, so what smelly Vaughn and Joshua. It's tempting to even send Roscoe just so we don't have to deal with him. But no, no, no. You'll be fine, guys. You'll be fine. Oh, I had faction control this whole time. Wouldn't you know. It wasn't as though I needed it. I didn't have anything planned for uh, custom factions or whatnot. Oh, get, no, Lucretia's uh, farming. All right. Are you serious? You just left? We can probably still see you from the camp, and you're just like, you walked a hundred feet, and we're like, oh, this is good, good enough for today. Good enough for today. Let's uh, lie down in this field. I would like it. I would like it if you guys could pick up the pace just a tad bit, you know? Alright, what's going on back at home? Starvation. I do believe, though, I sent a good deal of my hunters out to uh, trade a caravan. All our problems are solved. Or, or they will be tomorrow. God damn it, what's your guys' problem? Lay some more eggs. Who do you think would win? Scorpion or Roscoe? I hate to boil this down to numbers, but Roscoe has an intellectual of zero. Scorpion also has an intellectual of zero. 
This could be anybody's game. They are both fairly social. I never knew this about Scorpion, but he was a war bastard. Mother's Town was conquered by an enemy soldier. A child of violence with, n with no acknowledged father, Scorpion grew up at the bottom of the social period. His mother instilled her bitterness towards men and war into Scorpion. His pet rabbit offered more warmth than any human in his life. Oh my god. Then he grew up to be an actor. Traveled with a company of actors, playing to packed theaters and loving audiences everywhere. He was a perfectionist and made his own props and costumes rather than use the ones he was given. Holy shit. And then he grew up just to be like a social butterfly who's kind to just about everybody. He has nothing but... Roscoe is the only one. <laughs> Roscoe is the only one he dislikes. Oh, it's because he uses him as a food source. Wow. Oh, it's suppressed by unpretentious. Okay. So his mother wanted to, like, instill a bias into him, but he was just... He's just too humble of a guy. He's like, no, no, I, I don't agree with that. I like everybody. Wow, move over, Alex. He is the real main character here. <laughs> oh. Roscoe. Let's get everybody hunting who can. Actually. No, not Alex. Uh, not Fran. Artro, Roscoe, Tem, Tonagawa, and... No, not Hidden Blade. You guys? How long has it been since you ate something that wasn't like a squirrel or a deer? And uh, would it be any better if it was a rhino? Yes, yes, I know these guys are considered endangered on some worlds, but this is not one of them. Line up carefully. Oh god, this was a... Oh my god. I've made... A, a, I am become error. Oh, this was, this was not a good idea. Maybe hunting these guys to a state of extinction wouldn't be such a bad idea. Oh my god, Alex. Alex, please help. Where is your fucking stat? You can't equip weapons now. What? What is going on? Get inside. Oh my god, is this, a, is this how it fucking ends? Everyone who can fight, get out here. Uh, I've been playing too much Dead by Daylight lately. Scorpion, body block. I said body block. Hidden Blade, um... Go get a bow. Brand, please. <laughs> go back up, back up. Okay, okay. Oh my god. I, I am baffled. I'm fucking baffled. At my own idiocy. Did we even kill one of them? 
Yeah, we killed exactly one of them. Hidden Blade, please. Please, Hidden Blade. So, um, caravan guys. How about you come home? He can't equip the charge rifle. Stun it. And run. And run. Oh. Oh my god, guys. I got my ass handed to me. By a pack of rhinos. Scorpion died. I think that's the most tragic part of this is that Scorpion died. He was he was just a kind man. He had Oh, he had no no ill will towards anybody. He was he was just a big kind softy. All right. Guys, get rescuing. Who can doctor? Vaughn! Oh my, oh, that was like fucking 4D chess right here. Okay. Okay, really quickly, Vaughn, rescue Alex right away. Rescue Artro. Rescue Tem. Bran is dead. But I just... Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh my god. So help me, I will make you extinct on this planet too. Archro is dead. Lucretia is dead, and apparently was at one point... Yay, visitors! Wow! This makes everything better. Fucking rhinos, man. I thought I was real goddamn clever, didn't I? Let's only go lay down. Tears still in his eyes. Good night, sweet prince. Oh. You were good, son. Maybe even the best. Don't wipe a little tear from your eye here. Oh. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. But I know we'll meet again. Some sunny day. Keep smiling through. Just like you always do. <laughs> Tell the blue sky. I am actually pissed off. I am actually... I'm, I'm actually very pissed off. Oh my god. Four colonists lost to rhinos. 
of all the things. Oh. Hey, guys. Well, I don't suppose we'll be needing too much food after this. Oh, take five of my ivory scrimshaw. Take my quartz. Take my peridot. Wait. There's a chance. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. <laughs> oh, it's not over, guys. It's not over until it's over. I, I actually do just though. want to very quickly. Yes, yes, I don't I don't care about the change. You didn't have any money. Well, on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I am going to try and move back to... Oh man, Scorpion, I miss you. I'm going to try and move back to the uh, hour-long episode format because I think that would probably be for the best. In any case, wherever you go, whatever you do, I hope you have a far better day than we had here at Illithid Inn. Well, as always, I have been Retropunk, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.